moving around and uh, sort of coming back into the North Sea, I, I realised that the biggest challenge you had in sort of frontline operations is giving people the information that they need to do their job. They still had that problem. They still couldn't get to all their um, engineering data easily. That then got uh, got me into thinking about how do I get 3D models onto people's desktop. And very quickly, a few weeks after kicking off the pilot, I was seeing stuff that I hadn't seen in in the way that it was being being presented to me. So the pilot um, then led through to deciding. Um, to expand further, I picked one of the most complicated assets that we had. It was old, the 3D model was not, um, not complete, and very quickly, Ace was able to, to bring that together to show us this single view of the, the, the asset in a way that very few other products can easily do. Typically, I was finding if I wanted to send somebody offshore, you're probably talking about a four to a six week lead time before, before people actually get offshore. So if you can, fire up your PC and instantly gain access to that content. You've, you've taken four to six weeks out of that lead time, but also you, you've reduced the costs associated with the, with the offshore trip. I think I've always admired about A's is the technology and the knowledge that the teams have. I think what A's has learned is what were the challenges that it had and therefore how it applied the technology to solve those, you know, those challenges. You're trying to change the industry. You're trying to change the way in which people look at engineering information. And effectively what you're trying to change is the behaviours, the culture, the workflow of clients to be more digital.